I want to hear it again before it ends. Your voice like trees in the wind, bright as the dawn. The glance I caught of your eye when you were passing by. That day remains. Sometimes it plays through my mind. I picked you up. And soon you were at my side. We talked a while. This glimpse of our coming days before our sin The fire. I don't recognize you are the shore that still haunts me. I let moments pass, didn't recognize the signs. I thought there was time. The fire. The fire, the fire, an image of your face, from it I cannot escape. I search for it in every corner. Floor that I walked back to the room with the light outside Sinking too soon and I saw the way you moved Hands on the bark that's so dead outside Green at the heart, scent of the wind Fast as the day, it's just one more time One other way and I watch what I do Lit by the sky and the night is coming
Letting it fall and we leave this house Dead leaves and all Your dress is soaked Mud on my feet When I turn my gaze Weeps in the trees Notebook filled with solid gear Lit it and lit Sleeping at me Smiling at me And your hands are the right sand All right, guys. Let's see here. I just want to show you guys some of the wardrobe we used at the Knights of the Cross filming. This is, oh, wait, let me take down the, let's stop the screen share there. All right. Can everybody hear me okay? Welcome to the stream. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a surcoat that we used for um, the, uh, filming at the show this last uh over the this last week pretty fashionable as you guys can see um this is uh this is actually made it into the shoot itself uh this is just like a you know basic surcoat it's not accurate in terms of the material i think it's just cotton but um uh this was worn by one of the knights on set and I, I actually brought it back home with me. Um, this is, I know I don't have any mail right now, somebody mentioned, and this is just kind of a cloak. So, you know, it, it looks a lot better with the mail and everything, but uh, it, Sam says, taking your first step, steps toward reenactment. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is some of the wardrobe. I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, we got done filming <clears throat> last week with... Um, with episode one of Knights of the Cross. And uh, wow, I am excited. I am very excited, guys. Um, um, but yeah, this is the, you can kind of see the surcoat better without the, it's just kind of, I, it's not really, uh, I, this, I believe this, the openings need to be wider to be really accurate, but you know, it's kind of got a cool look to it. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well. <sighs> um, we had a really exciting week last week, obviously. And um, now I'm back. Uh, life goes on. And yeah, um, the Knights of the Cross pilot has been filmed, everybody. It's, it's, it's on film. And uh, it, was, it was an awesome experience. I got to tell you guys. Um, it was it was awesome. It was it was amazing. Um, I think that uh, what's that weird glare in my? That's this drink over here. Is it? I don't know. Oh well. Um, but yeah, welcome to Coffee and the Crusades. Uh, the first episode since we were back from filming. Hmm. I'm almost out of coffee. Actually, that's bad. So um, let me show you guys um, a few clips here from filming the show just so you guys can get an, an idea of uh guy I, I almost don't even know where to begin to to tell you guys about the whole thing i mean it's just the whole thing was so amazing um let's see we got this one hold on okay um so let's look at this okay can everybody see this all right, this is just kind of getting set up in the tent scene. We'll play this real quick here. This is a short one. Let's see. Okay. That's uh, Richard's sister, Joanna, and that's night number two. And then William, and then there's our director and our video guy, Greg. Okay. Just kind of a brief, brief little look at uh, what the set was looking like on day one. Um, 
this is inside the tent. So basically, uh, the story, I'll kind of start letting you guys know a little bit about the pilot, the, like what the story is going to be like. It's, it's it uh, kind of begins with um, Richard, the, the point when he's, he's ill uh, at the beginning of the Siege of Acre. And so there's, there's quite a bit of, uh, of the scene. It takes place in this tent scene. And there's, there's a, really a lot of character moments um, that I think are really compelling, uh, which focus on Richard and his sister, Joanna, and one of his uh, main knights, a fictional character I created named William uh, of Beaumont, kind of based on uh, the Earl of Leicester, Robert de Beaumont. But um, I wanted a name that wasn't so close to Richard. So um, I went with uh, William. Uh, Robert and Richard seemed a little, I mean, you know, with, with people of Norma descent, uh, that's, <laughs> you get a lot of Roberts and Richards, Roberts and Richards. Uh, Zach asks, how long is the pilot going to be? It's going to be about 24 minutes, I believe, 24 to 30 minutes. But here's one little, let's go to a different one here. This is one clip. And the actress here who's playing Joanna is a uh, young actress by the name of Ellie Mellon. And then playing William is a guy named Devin Tanner, uh, both out of Salt Lake City, which is where we filmed this. Let's see here. Stop screen. Let's look at another one. Okay. Okay, this is just kind of... All right, this is, a, this is uh, the day two, I believe which was mainly green screen. I'll show this to you guys real quick. Uh, let's see here, share screen. We want to find our window, there we go. So this is just some of the crew you can see hanging out. Um, this is the makeup lady talking right there. And then there's some of the interns and assistants, camera crew over there. Um, there's the green screen. You guys can see that. Pretty cool. So yeah, that was day two. Um, uh, you know, I don't know what is causing that glare. I hold on just a second. Let me. I noticed that too. Let me mess with that a little bit here, Chris. Okay, that's it's a little better, but I don't know. Oh well, not the end of the world. So, all right, let's do another clip here. Um, actually, let's look at some pictures. Uh, Zenix wants to know where will Knights of the Cross be available? Uh, the pilot episode is going to actually debut on my channel in November, so that'll be the first place you can see it. And the idea will be to hype up excitement for the series with that episode and um, hopefully encourage people to go to nights of the cross.com and contribute to the budget. Cause we are going to need to raise a budget to finish out the season. Um, thanks to everybody who's donated already. We've been able to do um, the, this pilot episode. So that's, that's been huge. Um, and speaking of that, there's a few people I, I really want to thank who really helped out. First of all, um, uh, cinema forte, which is our production company who did the, who did the show, um, Aaron and Greg, especially, uh, Aaron was our director. Um, on top of that, I want to thank, uh, some of the, uh, donors who actually came out and were a part of the, the shoot. Uh, first of all, Sam, uh, who was hugely helpful, Sam, you, you know who you are. He's in the comp, he's in the chat today. Let me find, yeah, here's Sam saying hello. So Sam, guys, Sam shows up in his car with just loaded up with um, all kinds of authentic medieval gear, tableware, stuff to deck out the tent. Um, hugely helpful to the whole thing. So Sam, thank you so much. Um, you guys will see a lot of his personal belongings in the, the pilot episode because he brought it with him. 
Uh, and, you know, in general, we, we had a ton of stuff. We ended up having a ton of stuff on set available to us. Before we film anything, I'm always worried that we're not going to have enough, you know, costumes and all that. <laughs> and um, um, we had plenty. We, we had more than enough. So that was really good. So thanks for that, Sam. Also, I want to thank uh, Daniel. I want to thank Pat. Uh, for their contributions. I want to thank Robert, uh, who drove down to be a part of the whole thing. I want to thank Andrew and Anna. Um, I want to thank um, uh, Joe. And I want to thank John. So we had, uh, we had a lot of people who came down and um, were very helpful. So, yeah, there we go. Um, uh, Alexander asks, how many episodes in Knights of the Cross are going to have? Uh, the first season is going to be three episodes. We wanted to try for something kind of manageable. So the, the pilot episode plus two more episodes. So we're going to have two episodes that continue the story of the Third Crusade after this pilot episode, which starts with the Siege of Acre. Uh, yeah, um, let's look at some pictures now. I seriously almost don't know where to start, guys. I mean, it's just so much has happened since uh, I last streamed. And I'm, I'm really excited. So let's see here. Let's look through these. All right, this will be good. All right, here's just some pictures. Again, this is most mostly from uh, the first day of shooting when we were in the tent. So there you can see um, the actor who plays William, who is a guy named... Um, Devin Tanner, who did a great job. You can kind of see him in silhouette there. Uh, this is inside the tent again. You can see that's a bed that Sam brought. An authentic medieval bed. And there's our actor who plays Richard the Lionheart laying on the bed. A guy who's about 6'3", really looked like Richard. Uh, his name is John Donovan Wilson. You can find, he's got a website, johndonovanwilson.com, I think. Um, I'll try to find a better picture of him. Okay, so there's our makeup lady messing with Richard's hair, it looks like. Um, crew back there. This is one of our knights. Uh, here's uh, Devin Tanner again. Back here you can see um, kind of the camera wizard, Greg. I'm not sure what his official title would be. Videographer, maybe. Uh, then we've got Aaron. Looks like you can see him there. More shots of the setup. Sound lady. Uh, you can see that the, the tent was really, it really looked nice. It really had kind of a cool vibe to it. Um, you can see kind of some of the weapons sort of in the background. Uh, there's one of the knights. I believe this was night number two. And then there's uh, Joanna, Richard's sister, played by Ellie Mellon. And right here you can see on the left, uh, Devin Tanner portraying William of Beaumont. And yeah, so that's our, that's our images from there. Yeah, so um, this was definitely, uh, we kind of took it to the next level in terms of, you know, with the trailer, we were out on location. We were really kind of slogging it in the trenches. This time we we were we got a, a full-on production company to to do the whole thing. Uh, D says, don't forget the laundresses. Uh, ho yeah, hopefully for episode two, we'll, we'll get the laundresses. But, but yeah, um, so now the next step is going to be hyping this thing. And, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of ideas for that. But um, I think that once this pilot comes out and everybody sees it and it's on my channel, I think it's going to make a bit of a splash. So that's that's the goal. So. OK, well, I guess we're already almost 20 minutes into this, although I know that I. Um, I started off with a little countdown. At the beginning. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's do Coffee and the Crusades, everybody. Uh, uh, what kind of questions does everybody have? Let's start, uh, let's get some questions going about the Crusades. And if you guys want to ask about the, the project, um, if you want to send, let's see, Power Chat, if you guys want to send Power Chats in, 
There's a link for that in the description down below. That would certainly be appreciated. Um, but that's that's a way you can send paid questions. Uh, just look in the description. Totus Tua says, I just joined. The pictures look cool. Uh, let me let me flip through the pictures again for you. Uh, this is just some shots from the set. Um, this is inside the tent, the tent scene when Richard is sick. It really looked amazing in there. And the thing is, it's going to look even better once it's... Uh, once you see the finished product. So um, Tom Griffin says, what is your favorite quote from a famous crusader? Um, that's a, that's a tough one. I'll have to get back to you on that, Tom. Uh, did the Templars have a motto or battle cry? Um, I don't think so. How many non Frenchmen were in the Templars? Uh, <laughs> probably quite a few, but the majority of them probably spoke Frankish as their initial language. Did Peter the Hermit make it to Jerusalem during the first crusade and what eventually happened to him? I, th I believe he did. Um, don't quote me on that, but I do think he made it to, to Jerusalem after the first crusade. I'm pretty sure. He definitely was there uh, during the whole battle of Antioch and all that. Um, I believe he was one of those that advocated surrendering to Karabokha, which probably doesn't uh, do too much for his reputation. Oh, okay. Chris actually got it for me. Uh, Richard saying, by God's calves, they shall not capture the Christians. That's probably mine too. That's a really good one. Um, What did Baybars think of Saladin? I don't think we know. Um, but, you know, Baybars was a Turk and Saladin was a Kurd. And there was, Saladin was kind of ignored for a long time by the Turkish elite uh, for that reason, I think. Uh, Tom asks, for the ordinary rank and file soldiers who participated in the siege of Jerusalem in 1099, not the Knights nobility, were these ordinary soldiers allowed to seize any house or property? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, ordinary people definitely uh, benefited from the conquests as well. Um, in fact, there's even a comment in Fulcare of Chartres who's, where he says uh, those who in France had not a, a shack or something like that had like a villa in in Palestine. So there was definitely opportunity for, you know, grabbing, uh, grabbing property, especially early on. Uh, Chris wants to know, does anyone know why Eleanor favored Richard over her other sons? Um, you know, probably just his personality was, was similar to hers. Uh, he loved, he was, he was a musician. He was, um, he was uh, very into kind of the poetic ideals of the age. Uh, he was kind of the ideal knightly figure and that appealed to her. Um, but, you know, I th this, this kind of goes back to his childhood. So she may not have known that he was going to be that, uh, but she seems to have favored him, you know, from the time he was young. So my guess is it would be, it would have to do with, you know, a, a personality thing. I mean, there was something about him that was, they just kind of meshed. Tony says, oh, what are your thoughts on people saying that 11, 10 people look European due to admixture with crusader populations? Is it historical or plausible? You know, I don't think so. Uh, the, the number of uh, Westerners who settled, in the Holy Land during the Crusades was was such a small, tiny number. I can't imagine them having much of an impact on the sort of the genetic, uh, long-term genetics of the, of the area. As I understand it, the people in the Levant, and in fact, uh, one of the Palestinian Christians I met when I was over there said this to me, their genetics have kind of go back pretty far. I mean, they haven't really been that much impacted by the various uh, conquerors who have come through the region. LG wants to know, is Knights of the Cross going to be family friendly? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's not going to contain any kind of, it's not going to be like Game of Thrones. Let me put it that way. There's not going to be nudity or anything like that. Uh, there will be, you know, some battle scenes. There will be um, some warfare. There is a scene where, uh, let's see here. Let me show you guys some more stuff here. 
there's there's in the pilot there's actually quite a bit of, of religious uh context to to the whole thing which we wanted to get that across we wanted to um point out that you know crusading was deeply religious in its nature there's a mass scene we show uh richard receiving communion uh taking the cross this is kind of like the idea is he's flashing back to to this moment um i believe it was in 1187 uh around then he actually took the cross for the first time and you know he wasn't able to actually you know make good on that vow until he became king but he it was at tour uh at a i believe it was it was a christmas court at tour or some or a, a court held at tour where he took the cross initially uh, before he was king, before any of that. Um, but, you know, he received, uh, he, he took the cross uh, amid mass and all this kind of thing. And we sort of have a flashback to that. Let me show you a shot from the green screen where you can kind of see this. Hold on here. We, we had, um, we portrayed this moment and this, this doesn't look, as powerful as it's going to end up looking, but it is, you can kind of get an idea. Let me jump back to the Knights of the Cross folder here. Uh, okay. So the pilot episode. Sorry, guys, I don't have a, a production team to <laughs> do this for me. Um, okay, so... All right. So here, you guys can check this out. This is right as we were, let's see here. Um, so this is when they were filming part of the mass scene. So you can kind of see, uh, again, this was on the green screen, so you can't see the full effect yet. But uh, let's see here. Let's jump forward here. Like he's, it's going to look like he's kneeling, basically. Um, yeah. And this is where he's actually taking the cross. And this is, this is a bit of a blooper here. This is good. Receive the cross of Christ, my son. <laughs> he's supposed to put the he's supposed to put the cloak around his shoulders and that particular shot uh <laughs> it went um went over his head accidentally so let's see here uh let's look at some other stuff here i want to show you guys um Hey, this is interesting. D says, Henry II owed penance for the Beckett fiasco. How does his son, Richard the Lionheart, address this? Now, King Henry actually appears in uh, the, the pilot episode. He uh, Richard encounters him. When Richard is ill, he has kind of this internal experience, and he sees his father in purgatory, and they talk about this. And you guys will... I don't want to spoil it or anything, but the idea is that Henry is... In purgatory, he is tormented by the fact that he never took actually went to, to crusade. And this is a moment with Henry and his son where he's saying, look, you know, um, uh, I want you to fulfill what I couldn't fulfill. And Richard is, you know, uh, swearing to him that he will. And this is a powerful kind of like, you know, dreamlike moment. And there's 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 a fair amount of that in the pilot, which I think is it, it helps develop the characters. So um, we get some flashbacks from Richard's sister Joanna to her childhood with Richard and their their close bond as brother and sister. We get Richard flashing back to again taking the cross, and he has this moment where he he, he you know he recalls this moment in, in the mass when he he vows to go on crusade, and we have this moment where he uh, sees his father in. Um, in uh, uh, purgatory. Uh, sorry, I got distracted for a minute there. Let me show you guys the cast here. I've actually got a little view of the cast for the show here. Where is that? Um, right here. Okay. So here you guys can see 
um, some of our cast members. We've got Ellie Mellon playing Joanna. We've got John Donovan Wilson playing King Richard the Lionheart. We have Devin Tanner as uh, William of Beaumont, Richard's Knight. And then playing King Henry is this uh, really talented actor by the name of Tom Cowan. So very cool. So that's, uh, but yeah, you guys can see, I mean, the guy we have playing Richard is, is like, he's a great actor and he really is the perfect King Richard. He really is. Okay. So, oh, it looks like I got a power chat here. Let me check. Let's stop this. Uh, did we get a power chat? Let's see. All right. All right. From Totus to us. Thanks. Uh, $10. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, have you considered using reenactors for the television program? Also, did Englishmen play any role in the First Crusade? Uh, yes to both of those. We'll definitely be using reenactors for the, the program. And um, uh, yeah, the English were involved in the First Crusade. Uh, there, uh, We know that there was actually an English... Uh, fleet that arrived uh, just in the nick of time before the siege of Jerusalem to resupply the crusaders at the, uh, before they, they conquered Jerusalem during the first crusade. But yeah, uh, reenactors will be heavily involved in the program. Reenactors were played a key role in the pilot. Uh, it was a good mix. You know, we had in terms of, in terms of the people doing the actual acting, we had, we had actors, we, we got professional actors to do that, but then we had reenactors doing the, the scenes as the warriors, you know, as part of Richard's army, this kind of thing. So it was, it was great. Um, let me see if I can find some more stuff to show you guys. Uh, let's look at a couple more clips. Here's a clip of, you can see some directing in action here. This is a good one. And our director, Aaron, he is, he's awesome. Uh, Cinema Forte. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've got some weird, great, uh, we've got some kind of weird um, spammer, I'll have to block that, perfect, okay, yeah, block that, okay, sorry about that, guys, um, all right, let me get back to showing you guys this clip. All right, so here, this is uh, Ellie Tanner playing Joanna, being directed by uh, Aaron, our director. Let me find this. So we'll go to this window. All right. And she was a great actress. She, she did an amazing job. Yeah. So. And when we see Richard, it's going to be like the castle and like a tree with like blossoms. Mm -hmm. And then as it fades, it comes up to John. Like the tree's dead. Okay. So, all right. Um, See, so yeah, let's watch that one more time. That's that's kind of a cool little clip. And, and when we see Richard, it's going to be like the castle and like a tree with like blossoms. And then as it fades, it comes up to John. It's the same thing, like the tree's dead and the lamb. I think he's talking about what the flashback that she has is going to look like. Um, um, yeah. Okay. All right. So thanks for the, the power chat there, uh, Totus Tuus. And yeah, if you guys want to power chat, uh, do a paid question. That's in the description down below with powerchat.live, which is an awesome new program. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I was just reading this. This is kind of funny. Uh, Scaligram got really snotty with me over the Alexander Nevsky film. Someday soon I will beat his arse in a nice duel. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Um, so, all right. Well, I think actually we're, we're kind of at the end of uh, today's stream and I, I need to get back to work on the video. So, um, so yeah, I guess we'll probably call it a day for now, but yeah, um, just want to report back to you guys uh, what's going on uh, with uh, the stream or not the stream. Sorry. Sorry. I'm kind of tired today. Uh, apologize for that, but the pilot episode, uh, Knights of the Cross.com. Let me jump over to that real quick. Um, let's see here. Knights of the Cross.com. Yeah, this is going to be, uh, this is still going to be the home for the show. Let's share that real quick. Uh, let's see here. Mm hmm. Nicelycross.com, right there. So this is still where you guys can go uh, for uh, to help crowdfund the show. Um, I'm our hope again is that um, uh, our hope is that uh, you know once the pilot comes out, uh, it's going to really be powerful and people are going to really uh, connect with it and they're going to want to contribute to the project and uh, we will be able to raise our budget for episodes two and three. Uh, and yes, Zenix says next stream is Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Uh, we are streaming or I'm streaming uh, every Tuesday and Friday, um, 12 noon Eastern time, 11 a.m. Central time U.S. So please join us, guys. Um, it's, it's a time that works well for me. Uh, I have small children, so evening is not so great anymore, as anybody here who has toddlers will understand. So there we go. Uh, we'll take, uh, let's see, one last question here. Um, let's see here. Where is that? Jump back here. Um, have you considered doing history profile type of videos on people like King Richard de Malai, Count of Champagne, Hugh de Pion, St. Bernard, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, um, and I have done some of that already. I mean, I have a profile video on Richard the Lionheart that you guys can check out if you if you would like. Uh, so that is a thing. But yeah, um, all right, guys, this is this is it for now. Um, appreciate everybody being here. It was a fun stream, fun Q&A. Uh, I'll see everybody on Friday at noon Eastern time. We'll talk to you then.